the world. First up to the scale is the challenger. Challenger. Next up on the scale is the champion. Two oh five for the champion. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight title fight. I'm not confident that I'll win. I know I can win. Any man can be beaten, this guy can be beaten, period. It's another tough fight, but really there are no easy fights in the UFC. I've been preparing very hard for this fight, and I plan on showing why I am the true champion. Our tail of the tape for this 205-pound matchup for the UFC light heavyweight title. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a street fighter. He stands six feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the assassin, Evan. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Loving. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Are you ready, sir? Forrest Griffin, the assassin. Fight. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this matchup going for Evans tonight? He's the longtime light heavyweight champion, heading in once again against the number one contender. He is so used to fighting world-class guys. He's looking for an Oma Plata. He got out. And he escapes. Good strikes from the top.
He's in full guard here. Oh, big connection with the left, Joe. Ground and pound 101. Oh, he's looking for Noma Plata. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Back to his feet. He's got the clinch. Looking for the takedown. Pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Good execution. He decides to let him up. Under three minutes now. He got hit with a big uppercut there, Mike. Oh! He's got the double. He pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. He lets him up. Nice combos. Nice counter. Nice punches. Nice knee to the body. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Inside with the clinch again. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Working the clinch game. Man, he's really teeing off here inside. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Very nice combination. Muay Thai 101. Oh, nice knees to the body. Good combinations in tight. Oh, oh my. the knee. This fight's just about over, Joe. Good combos here. Oh, but he recovers. Vicious Muay Thai. Great use of the clinch. Oh, vicious knee. Oh, one punch. The uppercut and the victory. He didn't even see it coming. How good was that? Here's the end. Look at this power he generates into that uppercut. And with our official decision. All right, I'm here with the winner and still... This is the shot here that ended the fight. Talk us through it. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to knock... Coming into this fight, did the fact that you came out on top and... I was told... People say... It... You know? Always humble in victory. Well, you look fat.